Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. Here I am joined by Ibrahim Gideon, who is the CTO of Canadian operator TELUS, to talk more about the need of cloudification and some of the social projects that the operator has been involved in. Hi, Ibrahim. It's very nice to meet you. So, how are codification and network disaggregation enabling digitalization, and why are they so important? The, 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 uh, it's, it's a hot topic in the industry now, but there's some real business needs. Uh, the first one is resiliency, uh, because as you disaggregate networks, then you're able to provide that level of independence to self-contained pieces. So you don't need pieces, uh, you don't need you don't need to build a network end to end, you're able to emulate a network everywhere, right? Or, or the edges, the network. So, so this aggregated network is critical for that point. The other one is from a control management point of view and a skill set point of view. When you disaggregate the networks, then more pieces you're building on common blocks. So it's easier to build support and mechanisms around it and tooling. And last but not least, in a disaggregated network, you actually have the freedom to own your own destiny and build the pieces that you think are very critical. So these are three business needs. It's not just hot and sexy from a technical point of view. And yes, speaking as a geek, it's pretty cool stuff. What are the factors to enable the route to cloud native? Uh, I think uh, I think it's very critical to talk about doing it right. Like we've all done it. But I think this is where the evolution in terms of the telco cloud or cloudification. I think the lessons learned are uh, we made the technology work versus the technology solving business problems. So with things like when you talk about telco cloud and cloud native, uh, we should stop talking about redundancy being one to one. It's one to N, it's, it's in the telco cloud or in the softwareization of the telco. So it's instead of N to one, it's N to one reliability. It's the abilities for services to survive in different parts of the network. So those are two of the things. And the third is we talk about the self-driving network, but let's talk about just touchless. Like we should look at things because today we automate around our jobs and our roles. We should automate around the technology, but fundamentally, why are we in the path of enabling the technology at any of those steps? That doesn't make sense. So those are the third thing that should happen. So where is Telus on his journey towards this? The, the marketing stance is we're the best. Technically speaking, I'd say we're at phase 2.5 and then there's a couple more phases. So we were one of the first uh, with our peers like Telefonica to launch the Telco Cloud in 2014. Uh, I think that evolved to a much more robust cost structure, which was phase two. Uh, phase three is, is, I believe, is where you're going to start getting the software that's built natively for the telco cloud, which is part of the network. So phase four and phase five is when you talk about telco cloud, there's no such thing as telco cloud. There's no such thing as telco network. It's a seamless transport between both. You're pushing a packet across. Do you as a subscriber care if it's a cloud or if it's a network? If it's a Tucko Cloud or Google Cloud or an UnCloud, no. I think these are just terms that help us define our jobs because I'm the CTO of a telco. So I have to build a telco cloud, no. In the end, we're gonna build a seamless transport network with intelligence distributed everywhere there's compute called cloud. When do you expect this seamless network to be broadly available? I'm terribly excited. I expect uh, to have bits and pieces to demonstrate of what I'm either I'm crazy or I'm right. Usually I'm right. In 2024, you'll start seeing bits and pieces of uh, what I call uh, is the network fabric or the cloud fabric that's distributed everywhere. Lastly, can you share more about TELUS's WISE campaign? Ah, uh, we're very passionate about uh, educating people on privacy, trust, and security. And out of that uh, came the birth of what we call the TELUSWISE program. So it's available in Canada and then globally where we operate, uh, which helps educate teachers and students and parents about cyberbullying and uh, what they need to be aware to, to blink and bond with their kids and what to watch for. And really happy uh, this pin was built for the anti-cyber campaign by TELUS. And, and uh, we're pretty proud of what we've done with our kids and our communities. Ibrahim, thank you very much for speaking to Telecom TV. Thank you, my pleasure.